Good. Good? Good. 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 I hear that's the new envelope. It says on it what we're talking we about. We can't see yeah, it, but I can't read it. Someone told us already. Yeah, so we're talking true. about something about buying used headphones. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Before we start, click the subscribe button down below. It really helps us out. Okay, so we're going to talk about uh, our used, our older models. And uh, just quickly go through the hierarchy of where we started with our model designations to today because sometimes in the used market we see there's some confusion with uh, the various models, right? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we people people think a FI is brand new when the TC is really the new one and like so on. So, and I get that. I mean, it's a lot, there's a lot to read to be able to go backwards and figure out there's a lot of bullshit in between the models, right? Yeah, yeah. So if it's you stop paying attention for years, it's easy yeah, to yeah. miss a model or, if you, or understand or if you just how came here. just getting here. Yeah, yeah that's right. even worse. Yeah, if you're watching it the whole time, you can Somewhat. see the progression. Yeah, 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 but there's no skipping around if you've never even looked right. at our uh, stuff before. So yeah, it's difficult. A lot of people aren't aware how old the oldest models can be, because some people have the original models, the 1266. They think, oh, it's two, three years old. Yeah. This is a common thing. For some reason, in the used market, people always advertise things on the optimistic side. They say, oh, well, I just got it, or terminology like that to make it seem like it's new. But they could be as old as uh, somewhere in the ballpark of seven years old at this point. Yeah. Yeah, so, we actually started uh, producing headphones back in right. uh, almost seven, around seven years ago. And they all have yeah. the same designation, AB1266. There's modifiers on it after that. So the original model, we came out with the AB1266. And of course, at the time, we didn't know how many generations and revisions we were going to have. So there was no like number or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, right? didn't need it. Yeah, some had enough people, numbers there. Twelve six. Yeah, it's plenty of numbers. Yeah. So some people yeah. refer to this as the OG, AB twelve sixty six OG. Yeah, in retrospect, how it's considered. Yeah. yeah. And then after that, we came up with the Phi, AB twelve sixty six Phi, PHI, which phi. constituted a driver change. Yeah, pretty yeah. considerable change to the driver. Yeah. Totally mm -hmm. different. And then. Same aesthetics. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And after that, we did the AB1266 Phi CC. Right. Right. Not which, a driver change. Not a driver change. Same drivers as the Same Phi, phi driver. Same yeah. Phi driver. Right. Which actually, technically, it's the Phi CC. Right. Right. So that's confusing. <laughs> it starts to get longer <laughs> as, <laughs> as they get newer. Yeah. Same Phi driver, but now we change the, the, the fit and finish on the frame yeah. of the headphone. Yeah, suddenly revised mm -hmm. chassis. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Change, you changed it, you, you improved on the machining process and all that stuff. Right. We went to a ceramic coating on the frame assembly and everything, which the, and actually the file say ceramic coated right on the baffle, right on the speaker, right? If it's a CC, yeah. Uh, CC, sorry, the yes, Phi CC. The Phi wouldn't. Yeah, CC stands for ceramic coated. Yes. Right. So the current model as of 20, the year 2020, right. is the Abyss AB1266 Phi T C right yeah. yes. for total consciousness total consciousness <laughs> right which we kept the word phi but the total consciousness actually was another driver update right. so we've been actually through three different drivers in the 1266 since its inception seven right. years ago mm -hmm. and the other thing about the TC that's currently now in 2020 is that it's been out for nearly for two and a half years yeah two a little over years. that yeah yeah so we haven't changed the model in a while and. Quite frankly, the reason is because it's it's so damn good. Why bother, right? I mean, it's yeah. There was a change in the TC with the headband this year. Yeah, minor so change. early earlier yeah. TCs would have a different headband. The leather headband. Yeah, the leather headband. Yeah, yeah. which of yeah. course you can order on our site if you wanted to update that. Right. Yeah. So yeah, you could see that one pretty clearly. It's a different yeah. design. Yeah. Quite different. Yeah, we went to the the new headbands. You can actually change the suspension rings on the ends at any time, mm -hmm. make them longer, whatever you want to do to it modify it it's simple it's just a two screws and you know we even give you a guitar pick and a yeah. guitar pick with the new headphones. i guess we never even talked about that now but yeah yeah which is all, all new headphones come with them too yeah which is made to turn the screws to, yeah to loosen the screws to yeah. take a to replace the rings on the end so yeah of course you could use it to play guitars too yes yeah <laughs> it's actually a real guitar pick it's it like, is a real <laughs> dunlop guitar does pick. it sound good i have i don't play guitar well i don't like how big they are oh okay but, oh, big. Yeah, yeah it's kind of optimized to loosen they're made they made yeah we screw got it for yeah, yeah they're a little practicality thick. that's true yeah but someone must use that because it's a, it is a normal model that yeah. you can buy. So yeah. So a question we get from time to time is how do I tell what model it is? Right. You have a headphone. You're looking at a used headphone. You're wondering, hey, what model is this? Easiest way to tell, it's clearly marked on the baffle. So the actual like steel assembly that the driver is attached to, 
you take the ear pad, they're magnetic, you can pull it right off, right? And on the actual baffle assembly, it'll be marked, the model, AB1266. And if it says no other modifier on there, that's the original AB1266. Yep. Past that, we did AB1266 Phi, and that'll have like a little zero with a line through it, the Phi symbol. The Greek Phi symbol. Right. And then we did a CC. The CC will say AB1266 Phi, and then it'll say ceramic coated on the bottom. Written in words. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two words, ceramic coated. Right. Right. That's a CC. Right. And then after that, we did the TC, and it'll say AB1266 Phi. TC and it'll also say total consciousness underneath it in words in addition to ceramic and coating. ceramic coating. And ceramic. yeah so this thing so the it's latest generation all, yeah. yeah it's pretty much got everything <laughs> yeah I remember yeah because I looked at an uh, old one a couple weeks ago and I'm like well oh, the baffles are so clean they don't have, the originals anything. don't say anything yeah really yeah, it's, got the, it's it got the model and the serial yeah. number and nothing yeah yeah, yeah. So, so it's yeah. pretty easy to tell yeah. yeah and of course the we've through those models we've had three driver changes okay Diana's well, I guess the Diana is a lot easier because there's, there's only two Diana V2s. Yeah, a Diana V2. A few different color Diana options, V2. and the color is indicative of what model it can be, other than the difference between the original Diana and the Diana V2. So, same story on that. It's marked on the baffle. Ear pads are magnetic. You take the ear pad, give it a tug, pops off. It'll say on the top, Diana. If that's what it says, it's an original Diana. Mm -hmm. There's also a Diana V2. That's a, a Diana V2, right? The letter V and the number two. Yep. Right. It'll say it's Diana clear. V2. Yeah, the V2 is kind of yeah. small, but it says Diana V2. It is V2 small, now. but yeah. 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 And there's a Diana Phi. This one will say Diana Phi, and the P-H-I is spelled out. So for the most part, yeah, it's the, Yeah, there's only been one Diana Phi, so. Yeah. Yeah, that hasn't changed. It has. Well, the, the ear pads there, they have changed. Yeah. So the newer ones are black now. That's true. Yeah. But the, if, the headphones If you the bought a gray headphone. Right. That used to be gray leathers. Now the Diana Phi in a titanium gray comes with black leathers. Right. Black headband and a black and black ear pads. Right. But yeah. the headphone itself hasn't changed. Yeah. This is co th now it's called 20 in the year 2020, we should say. Right. Uh, right. Sometime during this year we changed. I think at the beginning of the year we changed to all black on the Diana Phi. Yeah. But um, but yeah, the 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 Diana V2 is comes in a uh, a coffee which is like a tan light tan and a brown combo with brown leathers. Right. And the, and the other Diana V2 comes black, all, all black. black. Yeah. yeah, and that's the only Diana that comes all black is the Diana V2. The Phi does not only comes in the titanium gray, and a dark bronze, which is a pretty cool color. Well, the Di the Dianas always came either black, all black. Yeah. Either whether it's the Diana or Diana V2, they were all black, or they were a coffee would call it, which is a tan brown combination. They all, those Dianas are always that, where a Diana Phi has always been gray, a uh, titanium gray color, like a metallic gray, darker gray, with, or um, dark bronze, which is a darker metallic bronze. And uh, so, yeah, so I mean, you can, just by looking at the color of the headphone, assuming the photography was done well, yeah. uh, you could tell, differentiate between a Diana Phi versus color, a, yeah. a Diana V1 or V2 by color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we never did Diana Phi's in black, although we right. have a ton of people asking for that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but they know we don't do it specifically because that's what differentiates it by, by look alone. Yeah, the Diana Phi, we added the dark bronze later, though. Uh, so those was the, yeah, they didn't come out at the same time, so those would be newer headphones. And actually. come to think of it, the original Dianas, there were some white ones out there. There are a few white. That we discontinued the white basically yeah. because it just wasn't popular. Yeah. You know, just we thought thought it'd be cool to do white, but yeah, no one really wanted it. They wanted the black for the most part. Mm -hmm. So we said screw it. They do exist. Yeah, there are some out there. They yeah. do exist. I've never seen one come up used. Yeah, I've, I've yeah, never I don't seen mean one. Either. Yeah. 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 And speaking about used, now that we're on that subject, we should probably also discuss the fact that uh, on the same topic that people are buying our headphones, obviously they're, they're out there used. There's a number of them out there. And I mean, for the most part, the market's pretty slim. You know, you see them pop up once in a while, they sell pretty quickly. Um, they hold their value, which is great, but um, you know we should probably warn people a couple things on the mar used market. Of course, you're buying used. The the old adage always applies: buyer beware. You know yep. you don't know how it's been treated. You don't know how many people it's gone through. You don't know how used it is. You know, so it's difficult to tell. You don't know how it's been treated at all, really. It know? is really hard to say. Yeah. From time to time, we have people ask us, "Hey, here's a serial number. 
what do you think? Should I buy this used headphone? Yeah. And there's really nothing we could say to them because yeah, no. when we get headphones back for repairs or upgrades, um, which well, we don't do upgrades anymore, but we used to, right? So for a period of time, we saw the headphones come back. We Some saw a bunch, them. right? Yeah. And the range of conditions is really surprising. Some are absolutely mint five-year-old headphones. They look perfect, yeah, right? Really. And other ones are demolished and six months old. Yeah. So <laughs> how people treat their headphones, it varies wildly. Yeah. You know, and this condition of the leathers and stuff. Oh, like yeah. Right. I mean, ear pads, especially like 1266s, they're 400 bucks a set. So, you know, it adds up. If you're buying used, you got to consider the fact that you're probably going to want, you're probably going to need a new set of ear pads. It's a good idea you know? to assume that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, especially in this day and age. But usually well. they, get, they are wear items. They wear out. You know, and uh, or they get saturated with sweat, if, depending on when, if you're in the summertime wearing these things. So anything's possible, but, you know. I think the biggest thing is um, people uh, conditioning them. Yeah. Like some sometimes we get some Yeah, we've that, seen that. And they, they get kind of slimy and yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's know? really hard to see damage like that. I mean, there's all kinds of things people could have. Yeah. Dropped them down the stairs, got junk in them. I mean, there's a multitude of things you can do to a headphone. Any headphone for the most part that you can't see externally, even. Yeah, for the most part, I think the used market's been pretty good and generally, yeah. people tend to respect each other. But you do have to watch it, you know. I mean, we've even seen dealers that sell people stuff that tell them it's new and it's really not that new after all, you mm. know. And it's and that's very rare. But, you know, but, you know, it happens. I mean, somebody mixes something up. The sales guy mixes something up. Yeah, you sometimes know. they don't even know. <laughs> you look at it, and it looks new, and it's like, well, it must be new. I mean, you know, they lose track of it. It's possible, you know. So you got to be aware of that because particularly with our warranty, you get everything comes with a one-year warranty from the time it's manufactured, right? That's from the time manufactured. At, the, at that time when you purchase it, like the first, I think our warranty procedure says the first 90 days of ownership, right? You can register that brand new headphone on our website to extend the warranty from one year to three years. And I should clarify that in the EU countries, the standard warranty is two years because it's law there. Right. That's the way it works in the EU. So if you live in any of the European countries that are part of EU, that's law. Um, but uh, anywhere else, if the headphones purchase outside the EU, it's a standard one year warranty. And, but you can not extend it to three years if the headphone is brand new. And we say brand new, like never open, never use type thing. And that gets confusing because a lot of people will tell you, oh, it's brand new. And then you go to register and like, we go by serial number and go, well, this ain't brand new. Yeah. You know, uh, it's a year old or whatever. We actually see that a fair bit. Yeah. People get misled by yeah. the seller thinking, oh, I just bought this. But yeah. they bought it two years ago or yeah. a year ago. So right. maybe it looks new, but right. it's still two years old or something. Yeah. Yeah, we did run into that recently. Someone had uh, tried to register a CC, and it's like the yeah. newest this could be is two or three years right. old. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like a three or four year old headphone. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's brand new. Yeah. yeah, and then if an argument ensues, it gets a little ridiculous because yeah. it's like, well, we didn't tell you that it was brand new, you know? Yeah, and well, we didn't, and we didn't sell it to you either. <laughs> well, so you know, I mean, you know, so basically we send you back to who you bought it from and say you need to get with them and find out what's going on because we don't. It know. just leads to upset customers. I mean, yeah, right. yeah, right. And we don't want to get in the middle of used sales. It's not our job. It really is. So it's not something that we want to have to police or anything like that or in any way. Well, not you know, much we can do anyway. No, there isn't. But, I mean, it is kind of the burden tends to fall on us because the customer is asking us what this is. Well, yeah. you know, and it, I get that. So that, that's kind of why we're doing this video about the various models so that you understand it's been, it's been a while since we've changed models, first of all. So it is potentially – it's possible to get a TC out there that is currently and, you know, toward the end of 2020, it's over – it's well over two years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it w never was registered, it's well out of warranty, you know. And by the way, you can't go and register a one-year -old, head old headphone for as new. <laughs> it doesn't work <laughs> like that, you know. If it's been out there for a year, it's not new. <laughs> so it's difficult to tell. And, you know, the only way if you're – if the way I put it to people is if you're worried about getting a warranty or an extended warranty, particularly the extended warranty, you need to buy it from an authorized dealer brand new. You need to tell, ask them, is this brand new? You know, it should you should know because the price paid is usually retail. Or yeah, if you really want to make sure the buy you get something new, you can order it from one of our stores, our our Abyss headphone, our abyssheadphones.com, or in the EU it's eu.abyss-headphones.com. But anyway, if you're in the EU, our website will just direct you to it. Bottom line is we don't sell used or B stock. We don't even have it. 
Mm -hmm. I have we have people that ask that on email. Yeah, about it has been coming up more lately. Yeah, <laughs> and the dealers might have something like that, but we don't. We mm -hmm. we do not. We the reason is we really don't sell stuff. We don't sell stuff on a trial basis. Therefore, we don't have stuff coming back right. to sell used. We don't have used product here. You know, so if it's used, we own it. <laughs> you know, so anything you order from us, the manufacturer directly, can only be new, uh, current, gen. There's yep. just no way around it. We don't. We, well, don't, we don't have any old. Yeah, we don't ones. have anything laying around. We couldn't even mix it up <laughs> yeah. if we wanted to. <laughs> no. You know. So anyway, uh, but yeah, that's the trials and tribulations of uh, of, of buying used, and, and just gives you a little idea of uh, our our models, our model lineup. We'll hope that provides some degree of clarification into the different models over the lineage. And uh, if you have any further questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you have any questions we can answer in a future episode, let us know that as well. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to see more content like this. And we'll see you in the next one.